Opportunities come to everyone. Our history is shaped by how we use that opportunity and how we succeed through that opportunity. Domino's Pizza successfully capitalized on this opportunity. If you look at the history of Domino's Pizza, there have been many ups and downs. But through it all, Domino's Pizza Company has won and is the number one in the pizza industry. There have been many ups and downs, not only in this company, but also in the life of the founder who started it. He overcame all that and took advantage of the opportunity to win. How we succeed, what setback he faced, what kind of setback this Domino's company faced, and how it overcame it to become successful, we will see in this history of Domino's Pizza. There are pizza lovers a separate segment in this world, just like biryani lovers and ice cream lovers. The market value of pizza consumed by many people in India is equal to Rs 1,500 crores per annum. It is estimated that this will increase by 26% in another 5 years. Domino's has 55 shares in the great Indian pizza market, which gives a huge turnover. And Domino's has 70% of shares in the online pizza market, where pizzas are ordered and delivered. Not only in India, but in all the countries in the world, the popular pizza brand is Domino's. Not only in popularity, but even in generating huge revenues and profits, Domino's stand first in the world. And Domino's has proven successful by opening around 15,000 outlets all around the world. To achieve this great and marvelous height, the challenges that Domino's had to face were very, very huge. Before we took at the challenges faced by Domino's, let's look at the story of the founder of Domino's. Domino's Pizza Founder Domino's Pizza was founded by two people. Both of them were brothers. But only one person was very important. He was Tom Monahan. Tom Monahan and James Monahan were siblings and brothers. When Tom Monahan was four, his father died on a Christmas day. After their father died, their mother struggled a lot to rise of these two kids. Not able to face the financial constraints, she left both the boys in a place for the destitute. A situation arose where they had to live in this orphanage for at least four or five years. Both brothers continued their education at that orphanage. Tom Manahan wanted to become an architect and that was his dream. He was studying to fulfill his dream. After becoming financially good, their mother returned after four to five years supported their education and took care of them. After completing his school education and when he was about to join college to become an architect, Tom Manahan joined the new University of Michigan to fulfill his aspirations and dreams. Though he joined college, they didn't have sufficient money to fund his fees. To pay the college fee, Tom Manahan decided to do odd jobs, but it was not sufficient. So the brothers decided to start a business to make both ends meet. As they were searching for avenues to do business, there was a pizza shop owner near their college who was ready to sell his shop. Domino's Pizza Origins They decided to buy that shop and do business. The shop that they bought was named as Dominic's Pizza. Why was it called Dominic's Pizza? The owner of the shop was Dominic Devarity. He had started the shop in his name. Both the brothers had given $900 as the price to buy the shop. They sourced that money by borrowing here and there. After they bought the shop and started it, they shared their time with them. They came to understanding that Tom Monahan would take care of the shop during the first half and go to college and for the next half, the other James Monahan would take care and then go to his work. The first problem in the history of Domino's Pizza took place only at this time, when they decided to share their time and work. Tom Monahan's younger brother, James Monahan, was working as a postman at that time. He was on the job full-time and he had a better salary. He was not ready to quit his job and take up this business. 
he had to forego a very very precious thing the beetle car for this decision that he took and there was his dream he had come to that university to actually fulfill his lifetime dream of becoming an architect he started this pizza shop to pay for his college fees only but at last he had to forego his dream and take care of the shop yes he completely quit his studies Tom Monahan took charge of the pizza shop full-time. He started to work uh, vigorously without bothering about time and his hard work started to pay off. His shop started catching up on business and popularity within a few months. He started to earn a handsome income through that. He saved the income that he got from the pizza shop and he bought two more pizza shops that were for sale. Tom Monaghan at this point wanted the stores he bought to have the same branding, tone and name. Only then did he have another issue. The deal he made with the previous owner, Dominic Debarati, stipulated that he could only use the store's name for one store and no other stores. So he couldn't name the other two shops as Dominic's Pizza. Tom Monaghan got a solution for this problem from a laborer who was working at this shop. His name was Jim Kennedy, and he was a delivery boy at the previous Dominic's Pizza. An idea popped into his mind when he was returning after a pizza delivery. He ran into the shop and asked Tom Monaghan why he hadn't named the shop Domino's Pizza. When Tom Monaghan heard those words, a bell rang in his mind too. Tom Monaghan felt that Domino's Pizza had the same ring as Dominic's Pizza, so he immediately renamed all the shops as Domino's Pizza and even registered it. Domino's Logo He created the logo based on the first three stores he established, so even today Domino's Pizza has three dots on its logo. This logo is based on the game called Domino's. The color of this logo is based on the American flag. Tom Monaghan had decided to increase the points when Domino's branch expanded, but he couldn't increase those points in the logo, because Domino's Pizza win was actually too big to add points. Domino's has grown exponentially. Domino's Pizza Statistics Domino's stores open across the United States. At the time, it was said that the three most important factors contributed to the success of Domino's Pizza. One is that their taste is unique. Second, he delivered the pizza within three minutes and gave it away for free if not delivered. Third, Tom Monaghan introduced Pizza Industry first packaging to keep pizza warm. Until then, if you order a pizza, it will be delivered cold. Hot pizza served to preserve and enhance the taste of the pizza was a great marketing strategy he used. That's Domino's biggest secret to success. With all this, Domino's Pizza price is very cheap when compared to other pizza companies. All this helped Domino's become a big hit. Tom Monaghan didn't just cut prices. He came up with several offers, like buy one pizza, get one free. Domino's Pizza Franchise After conquering the American pizza market, Domino's began looking for the international market. In the international market, Domino's opened a branch in Europe. After Europe, Domino's branches opened in Asia, especially in China. After that, Domino's Pizza established many branches in many countries of the world like Australia, Japan, and India. With more than 15,000 Domino branches around the world now, Domino's has grown into a commercial enterprise. But if you ask if Domino has won anywhere in the world? No, a great challenge awaited them at every place. Domino's Pizza won some challenges, but they failed in some challenges. If we have to mention in particular, there was great anticipation when uh, they opened their branch in Italy, the birthplace of Pizza. An American brand has opened in Italy and many expected it to be a big hit. However, Domino's branch was forced to close because it could not compete uh, with local brands in Italy. There are many stories of Domino's company facing challenges and uh, turning them into a huge success. Essentially, we need to tell the story of how Domino's won in India. Domino's history in India Domino's uh, came into India only from 1995 to 1996. They started their first store in Delhi. 
They introduced Domino's Pizza in India through a tie-up with Jubilant Food Box as a franchise agreement under Domino's Pizza India. Once Domino's Pizza opened its branch in India, it was not a success. At the same time, Pizza Hut opened its branches in India. Even uh, they struggled to market and sell pizzas in India. Domino's Pizza has always been the best company to find solutions and succeed in any crisis situation in all areas. He has also improved its marketing strategy with time. They have never hesitated to improve themselves according to the market of the country they are visiting. A good example of this is the Indian market. When they introduced Domino's in India, they suffered huge losses. Domino's are not welcome in India. So, to recover from the decline, they decided to prepare the pizza according to the taste of the Indian people. They started making pizzas to suit Indian tastes. It was well received, but only through that, they cannot advance in the Indian market. So, when they thought of uh, marketing strategies, the methods tried in America helped them in India too. They said the pizza is free if not delivered within 30 minutes. Many things behind their success are Domino's innovative ideas, improvements, and quick solutions to problems. This made Domino's a success in India. Challenges faced by Domino's Pizza Domino's has put a lot of effort to innovate the pizza industry. A good example of that is the 2009 period. In fact, shares of Domino's Pizza rose almost 2,000 points in the stock market in just 6 years. After Domino's Pizza in 2009, there were uh, tech giants like Google, Microsoft, and Apple. Domino's Pizza was at the top, leaving everyone behind. Domino's Pizza became the most profitable company in that category. But before achieving such a success, it suffered a major setback. Before 2009, Domino's Pizza had suffered some of its worst failures. Domino's Pizza's market value fell below 75%. Before 2009, the quality of Domino's Pizza was so bad that many customers started complaining about Domino's products. As days went by, the problem got worse. It wasn't casually said or whispered, but they posted it online on blogs. Today we know the power of social media. It can make or break a person in seconds. But before 2009, nobody cared about online blog posting, especially corporates. But Domino's Pizza noticed that bloggers were writing very bad blogs about Domino's Pizza. In particular, Domino's chairman Patrick Boyle took this very seriously. After receiving so many bad comments about the pizza, he decided he needed to address the issue. They started thinking about what could be done to control the situation. If any other big company noticed this, they would have ignored the comment. They would have thought they would get better gradually or would have supported their claim. But Domino's Pizza decided to face it head on. The criticisms of Domino's Pizza were invited and debated. The discussion was videotaped. The video was watched by all Domino's employees. Everyone was actually complaining about that in the discussion. They criticized that uh, there was no pizza, just cardboard. After hearing all this, uh, they thought of immediate action. What matters most is what Domino's Pizza did after that. Those who worked on Master Chef as Domino's started experimenting with new recipes and ingredients, and uh, then tried to make a good pizza. After many attempts, they created a quality pizza. After the pizza was made, Domino's Pizza was delivered to homes of those who reviewed it. After eating it, they recorded their reviews on video. Those candid videos shot by Domino's Pizza were used for their marketing campaign. They went ahead with the campaign, saying that the mistake was theirs and that Domino's had corrected it. This new honest initiative was a huge success. Amused by this, Americans began to like Domino's more. This increased Domino's market value. One thing we can see in this history of Domino's Pizza is that uh, they have made the most of their opportunities, starting with Tom Manahan and continuing. If you like this story, please like the video and subscribe to the media company channel. So, you don't miss the next stories.